Three weeks ago, I made a video showing you guys how I've lost over a thousand pounds worth of lost parcels, specifically using parceltogo.com and the communication between them and myself. Three weeks later, and thanks to you guys, I've got a quite an exciting update. Not only that, I've actually got one of the parcels back. It's literally so frustrating. I, d I don't even care about the money, like, I'm just done with it. I don't want to speak to them. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. How good is it to be finally out on the golf course again? Played nine holes today. It's very busy at Sanford, which is obviously understandable considering the amount of people that want to get out and the shortened daylight hours. But I'm going to try and plan as much content this week. A lot more planning has gone into the videos going forward, so I actually know what I'm doing. Thought you guys would want a nice little cheeky update on this and i have to thank you guys because you definitely kicked up a bit of a fuss on that video the video that i made complaining about people to go got over 10,000 views in like 10 hours and there's no wonder i then got contacted within 24 hours by the operations manager george let me give you an update let me show you what i've got returned Let's get into the video. So let me show you what's in this box. This is the first box I ever went missing. Bit gutted because it was a lovely set of irons that Ewan actually bought off me. I sold these quite quickly. And this is before every man and his dog could sell his garage for a thousand pounds where golf clubs absolutely spiked going into the summer because the amount of people that then took up the game. The reason I really love this set of irons is because not only the condition of them, but the grips were just in fantastic condition. And I had to refund, obviously, Ewan straight away. I refunded him within like three days of them going missing. These are, of course, if you haven't seen the video that I did, again, six months ago, a lovely set of MP37 irons. Lovely, well packaged here. Great condition. I'm a bit sad about the condition of the box. I hope that's not how all my boxes turn up. I might have to actually look at doing those over again. But again, a lovely set of MP37s. All the clubs, again, in the box there. I'll show you the video at the start of what they would have looked like back in the spring when we were practicing with them. But let me give you an update of how I've essentially got this box because I don't think this is, this is more of an off chance. But let me tell you about all the refunds and everything that I got over the last couple of weeks. Now, there is no question in my mind that if I didn't have my YouTube channel and a lot of you then didn't start tagging Parcel to go on Twitter, Facebook, uploading links of the video, there's no way I would have been contacted anything further. I would have got zero refunds. I wouldn't have got my posted refunded. And it came to quite a considerable amount of money which is good and bad and I feel bittersweet about it. Yes, I'm happy because I've got some of the money back. Potentially it's the reason why I've got these, but I've also got another reason why I've actually got these in my hand and you'll see that at the latter part of this video. But the reason I feel a bit too excited about it is that if you don't have a social media following, if you don't have a YouTube channel with at the time 35,000 subscribers, then what do you do? You're basically just chatting to a brick wall. So a lot of you did email me certain emails to message a lot of higher ups in the company, which I'm sure you guys have probably tracked in the past because again, you kept getting the automated messages. But before I could even act on that, I had a message not only on my Instagram, but I had a message on my Facebook. And then I actually had a phone call before I could even reply to those. I had a phone call from George. So here's the first email that I got from George. This is basically saying that they'd seen the video because you guys have tagged it on their Facebook page and they wanted to rectify it try and solve what went wrong, where it went wrong. And again, this is one of my best advice I could possibly give, and loads of you messaged me this. Social media pages are so much quicker to get a response from any company in the world than your typical whatever. People put tons of money, or companies I should say, put tons of money into their social media team, their branding, their awareness. They don't want to be seen as the bad guy on any social media platform. So I highly suggest if you've got a problem, like my mate did with some shoes that he bought, he put and tagged on Facebook that they're rubbish and it's been two weeks and got a free pair sent the next day. It's such a powerful tool and advice. Don't get me wrong, I do feel some people definitely could take advantage of that system. But if you have a dis grievance with anyone, 
social media is the way to go. So then obviously I had a phone call with George. He explains obviously they want to change the way it is at the moment, how they're looking to obviously try and make it a lot better in terms of communication. And I definitely distress that people can't wait two, three, four, six weeks to know if it's gone missing or not gone missing. And then again, the insurance side of it, whatever. You guys know what I would have said to George. At the end of the conversation, he obviously wanted to get back the money, especially the ones that I had insured. Not only the 170, which is obviously the big sum, but even the 20 pound ones, the majority of parcels and parcels to go, 20 pound insurance is almost included. So I showed him all the numbers, all the parcels that went missing. And then you can see at the bottom, Ewan's, which is these ones here, way back five months ago now, that was the last one. And fair play to George, two weeks later, I had not only all the delivery refunded, so even the eight pounds, whatever I paid per parcel, but again, the insurance, and then the 175 pounds for those Lynx irons, which I'm really glad because they would have made a great video. I also should say at this point, George at no point said, can you please take down the video or delete it? Or can you make another video after we sort all this out to say that we sorted it out? So to be fair to him, he did actually just solve all my issues. And not only did he get the money back, he then made again another investigation with DX to say what do the parcels look like, what's the length, the weight of them, and again they can investigate further to finally find some of the golf clubs. Again, I must stress, none of this would have happened if I hadn't made that video or had such a big social media following or you hadn't tagged and linked them in all their social media platforms, which again relate to the bittersweet comment at the start. What I would like to say, again, with George's communication, I do think he was very sincere to be fair to him. Potentially, that might somewhat change, but again, uh, time will tell. And it's like golf clubs. You go and play a golf course once and it's in bad condition or the service was awful, you don't go back to that golf course for 20 years. It's very difficult to get good news to spread well, bad news spreads very quickly. So then two to three working days later, I had all the money in my account, 295 pounds plus all the delivery costs as well. So it came to about 340 pounds, which before Christmas is obviously very welcome. George then sent me an email to confirm all of that. Despite against depot research, uh, searches from DX, they were unable to locate any of my parcels and he did give his sincere apologies for this. He then talked about the credit with Parcel to Go. They gave me £100 prepaid credit to then use in the future, which I don't think I'm going to get to use unless potentially international, whatever. But I use DX at the moment. The same company that I use with Parcel to Go, I've sent over 90 parcels now. It cost me £5.20 signed delivery, which by a lot of you guys that do buy stuff from me, you're surprised. Literally, Nev picks my parcels up at 4.30. If you buy something before like 12 o'clock in the day, you're going to have it the next day. And it cost me £5.20 signed next day. It's a dream. <coughs> For his breaking, how old am I? It's a dream scenario at the moment. So I can't see me going back to Parcel to Go, to be honest. So it does beg the question, how did these turn up? Because Nev bought these the other day and I wasn't expecting to see any of them, not even the fact these were the oldest ones. So the hope is potentially I might be drip fed the other parcels. I imagine the guys at the warehouses at Heathrow, Liverpool, Edinburgh, they now know what my parcels looks like and they now know what the tape on my parcels look like as well. So potentially if they're just sitting somewhere with the wrong label, Someone might put two and two together and then return them. The guys at customer service at DX know what my boxes now look like. So these are the oldest set to then come back. Potentially the Scotty Camerons, the tailor-made drivers, the Lynx irons, the ping putters, you name it. They might all be coming back to the channel. And potentially if they start coming back, I'm just going to give them back away. As at this point, I've kind of just written them off. There's the update video, guys. It's freezing, by the way. There's the update video, guys. Thank you again for all the support that you gave me on that video. I'm pretty sure a lot of you would like to have known the outcome of all of that. Again, social media, if you wanna make a complaint, is definitely the way forward. Having a big channel obviously does help, but as I said, Twitter, Facebook, get a few people to tag it, like it, comment on it. I'm sure you'll get a quicker reply than most customer service desks. Have a good evening, see you later.